haven't even had my first glass of coffee yet. So what I'm going to do today, is I'm going to make this a short show. We have brunch at 10 and I have to do the cooking for that brunch. And I need plenty of time to kind of get things ready for that. It's going to be a long day, but let me talk about the week. The, the week. I had a very good week. Um, we closed on a house in New Braunfels, so that is all off our plate. We are excited about that. I started my new job on Monday last week, guys. And let me just tell you like this. When you start a new job, you, when you start a new job, you end up drinking out of a fire hose. I have so many emails that I don't know what's going on. Um, you know, I'm getting up to speed. I've spoken to many partners and customers this week to just introduce myself. But it was a good week. It was a good week. I am excited that I'm in a new role because it's change and it's an opportunity for growth and it's an opportunity for me to learn a lot more as well about the business and so forth. So many of you guys know or knew that I was in direct sales, selling directly to customers. Now I'm in indirect sales. So I'm still getting to the bag, but a different way of doing so. So I'm excited about that. Uh, next week, guys, or actually tomorrow, I am flying to Atlanta. I am flying to Atlanta. We're going to have some team meetings with my new manager and so forth. And um, we are going to be brainstorming about my role as well as the organization. She's bringing everybody there so we can get a, have a good understanding of what everybody does and, and get an opportunity for meet everybody and so forth. So uh, I'm going to be in Atlanta on next week for you all who are part of the Patreon, I will see you tomorrow night as I've scheduled a dinner with my patrons in Atlanta for us to break some bread at 6 p.m. tomorrow night. Uh, very excited about meeting many of you who I've never met in person, but I've met over the camera. I've met you over the Internet. So I'm excited about that, guys. I'm very excited about that. And guys, you should consider to be a patron. Uh, in our Patreon, you have an opportunity to meet some really awesome people across the tech space. Um, some aren't even in tech. Some are uh, in other areas, but wanting to transition in tech and so forth. So uh, the Black Hats Network is a strong network of tech individuals who have years of experience that, you know, obviously we are connected and we are pushing each other to reach the goals that we want to accomplish in life and within our careers. So consider it, consider the Patreon. Uh, the second thing is somebody asked if I do coaching. Yes, I do career coaching. One of the topics that I'm going to talk on, on today is something that I've heard a few times over the last couple of weeks in coaching sessions, and that is transitioning, transitioning into tech, but also if you're already into tech, how do you continue to climb the ladder? Well, part of our Patreon, the things that we talk about in the Patreon is ladder climbing. What is ladder climbing? Taking the next steps every single day, every single day in your career, in your life to get to where you want to get to. And when you do that, you end up making a shit load more money. That's just how it is. That's how it is. So, guys, I'm excited. This is going to be a quick show today, a 30-minute show, two topics, two topics only, and uh, we're going to cut out of here. So, guys, grab your coffee. I'm glad that you're in here. Okay, guys, in these coaching sessions that I've had, I want for us to just think about our value. And I always talk about this in videos as well, too. I always open myself up to the market. And the reason why I open myself up to the market is because it allows for me to understand my value on that open market. If you don't know what your value is on the open market, how do you know what you should be getting paid? How do you know what you should be getting paid? It's no different than you listing your house on a market or you looking at comps on a market. You have to see what other houses are going for if you're going to be considering to sell a house or to buy a house. You have to have market information. And for you personally, if you are in a row and you don't feel like you're getting to the money that you deserve, you need to put yourself out there to the market. You need to put yourself out there to the market, whether you take it or not. You should be putting yourself out there to the market to understand what 
else could you be getting paid? Because many of us have been in roles for quite some time and aren't getting the pay that we deserve. We aren't getting the pay that we deserve. And, and if you are in this situation, guys, book a coaching session with me. We can work through it to get you on the market, to get you a better understanding of what it is that you could be earning to help you support your family and so forth. But let's talk about this gentleman here. I'm a 30 year old IT manager making 67,000. I've had one employer for 12 years. So he's a dedicated guy. He's a guy who has found a home at a company and he likes his job. Obviously if he's there for 12 years, he must enjoy what he's doing, but he's too anxious to leave. So he's 30 years old, he's in IT, and he's only making $67,000 at the height of what people in tech are being paid. I can tell you like this, he's being underpaid. He's being underpaid, right? And he has anxiety about leaving. Okay, so in his journey, a 30 year old IT describes feeling underpaid, but too anxious to leave his job. I'm a 30 year old white man, living in the Midwest and making $67,000 a year. I work in IT for a manufacturing company that makes packaging products. I started at this company in 2010, making $15 an hour, about $32,000 a year. That may be you. You've been at a company for a long time. You're probably making $15,000 an hour, $32,000 a year. That's well below the national average. If you look at the averages, That is a D plus or C minus in your earning potential. I'm happy in my role and want to stay at this company, but based on what I'm doing in listings for jobs similar to mine, I'm probably supposed to be making 85,000 to 95 grand. Guys, that's an extra 20,000 that he could have in his pocket going to his retirement, going towards other investments, going towards making his life a little bit easier if he was to just open himself up to the market. He already has done some research and salary listings are sharing or showing him that he's underpaid. Now, once you find this out, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? If you have anxiety, book a coaching session. 